a proper warm-up is something that we all know we should do and yet many of us still ignore this part of a workout. So today I'm gonna share with you the exact routine I do every time and I'm also gonna share with you the reasons why I started warming up properly before starting on my climbing sessions and why I think you should too. Hi, my name is Kimi and welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel and you want to see videos about climbing, training for climbing, climbing destinations all over Switzerland and any other adventures that I do, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Warming up is probably the most boring part of all workouts. I mean, can't we just climb all the V0s in the gym and call that a warm up? Well, yeah, actually we can but then we're not really doing our body any awesome favor. So why do I properly warm up before climbing? Climbing is an intense workout. I'm sure you already know that by now. Even easy problems require our full focus and whole body effort just to climb it. That means that our body needs even more tender loving care than ever before. I actually only recently discovered the benefits of properly warming up before starting on my climbing sessions and since then, I never skip my warm-up routine ever again. Because when I warm up properly, I notice that my climbing performance is better compared to all those sessions when I cut it out of my routine. And I think it's because it prepares my entire body and mind to take on any of the boulders I climb that day. It's a simple but very effective step that allows my muscles to wake up slowly and loosen up. And when my muscles are warmed up and ready, that gives me a better range of motion. So I can reach farther holds and stretch without any feeling of discomfort. And when my entire body and mind are ready for the challenges on the wall, that also minimizes my risks of getting injured, like pulling a tight muzzle around my thighs or spraining my ankle. Uh, my ankle? spraining my wrist or popping one of my fingers. And as soon as I realized that for myself, I never saw warming up as a boring part of my routine ever again. So how does my warm-up routine look like? My warm-up routine is divided into four categories, specifically designed to target the muscle groups that you and I use in climbing. My warm-up routine starts on my way to the gym. The moment I sit in the car, I use my hand grip trainer to warm up my hands and fingers. I do around 10 squeezes each hand and I repeat it 3 times. I have the one that has a medium resistance which is just the right amount of challenge for me. After that, I do some tendon gliding which I learned from Hooper's beta. And I basically do this until we arrive in the parking lot of the gym. With these two exercises, I'm warming up the muscles at the back of my hand, my wrist and my forearms, improving their mobility and preparing them for certain upper body movements. As soon as I arrive in the gym, I usually go at the back side and find a spot where I can do some jumping jacks, just to elevate my heart rate a little and break a bit of sweat. I do it for 1-2 to two minutes. After a little bit of cardio, I do some stretching. I prefer doing dynamic stretching over static stretching because I always do big moves when climbing. As a petite climber, I have to exert more effort almost all the time compared to others. And dynamic stretches exactly help increase my muscles and joints range of motion which is very important when I do explosive movements. I start my stretching routine with some arm circles. 30 reps each side. I make sure that I'm moving them in a controlled way and not just throwing them around. Number two, leg swings, back and forth. 10 reps each leg. It's great for stretching my hamstrings and activating my hip mobility. Third is one leg RDLs. 10 reps each leg. Something I got from lattice training, which is a great warm up to activate my core and hamstrings. It also enhances stability, which is always needed in climbing. Number four, side lunges. 20 reps, 10 reps each side. This is my favorite leg exercise. It is one of the movements I use all the time when climbing. This exercise strengthens my entire legs, allowing me to easily transfer weight from one leg to the other, which helps me move with ease on slabs or problems which have bad handholds. Number five, plank twist. 10 reps. This exercise activates my core while warming up my rotational mobility. Number six, no monies. 15 reps. This is a great warm up I got from Hooper's Beta. It's meant to warm up and stabilize the muscles around our shoulder bone or shoulder blade 
and their muscles' rotational mobility. Hooper's beta said to minimize the pull up to 45 degree angle and not more. So you need to adjust where to hold the resistance band so it doesn't allow you to pull too far. Number 7. Recruitment Pulls 10 reps each side. Another one from Hooper's Beta which is also meant to warm up and stabilize our shoulders to be ready for climbing. I love this exercise because it strengthens my weak shoulders. Number 8. Wrist Rotation 10 reps each side. Good for warming up our wrists. Number 9. Wrist Stabilizer with a Dumbbell or Resistance Band as an alternative. 10 reps each side. Also from Hooper's Beta which is one of my favorite wrist stabilizer exercises for my weak injury-prone wrists. That's why I make sure that I warm up my wrist well before I start climbing. Number 10. Calf Races 10 reps. I like this exercise because it really prepares and strengthens the muscles around my feet and calves which I use for stepping on really small footholds. And the last one is Ankle Rotation 10 reps each rotational side on each ankle. After my stretching routine, it's time for some on-the-wall warm-up on some V0 and V1 boulders. My main goal here is to climb in a very controlled way, making sure that I'm placing my feet quietly and precisely on the holds. What I also usually do after topping a problem, instead of jumping down, I climb down the same way while maintaining body tension and control until I reach the start position. I keep climbing on these easy boulders while making sure that I choose different types of holds to warm up certain muscle areas that are being used for different hand positions. And of course, I also do them on different types of terrains. There are plenty of exercises that you can include on your own warm-up routine. This one just works well for me. I put these exercises together because they not only target the muscle group that we use in climbing, but most especially the parts of my body that are generally weak or prone to getting injured. And if that also applies to you, well, you're free to follow my routine and give it a try. Or you can also design your own routine. Tailor it to your climbing needs and the amount of time you have per session. What's important is that you start incorporating proper warm-up routine before starting your climbing session so that you could reap its benefits on your performance and avoid getting injured. And if you don't have that much time to spend in the gym, a short warm-up is always better than not doing it at all. And if you know any other exercises that I can include in my warm-up routine, please do share them and comment them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and most of all, I hope that you got some value out of it. Please don't forget to give it a like, share and subscribe if you did. While you're at it, why not also check out my other training videos right here. Thanks for being here. Till next time, keep climbing, keep adventuring, and I'll see you on my next climb. Cheers!